After major surgery taking apart the hub motor to check the hall sensors, I realized, or I learned, that there's a way to do it really easily without, uh, without taking everything apart. So these are your main power power wires to your to your motor and these are the wires to the hall sensor. Here's your positive oops sorry. Here's your positive red and your negative. And uh, you know what we were doing in the breadboard was applying voltage through the positive and the negative and then measuring from the negative to each of the three sensors. So that's what I'm going to do here. Plug into the negative lead and uh, check my voltage. So there I'm reading my voltage across the hall sensors. And now if I just go from one hall sensor to the next, I can measure it. So I'm getting voltage for the blue one. And as I turn the motor, you can see it turning off, turning on again. So I'm going to just check the full voltage is okay, but the off voltage is not completely off. Let's see what the next one does. This is the middle sensor. On is full voltage. I'm going to turn it slightly. Now off goes all the way to zero, which is good. Back up to full voltage. That seems to be okay. And then the final one, um, Again, I'm going to pump it up, getting full voltage, and it drops down, full voltage, down, that seems to be working all right. But two out of the three aren't going to complete, oh, that's interesting. There's one spot where it's dropping to about half voltage, but not turning off entirely. Yeah, there's about a few degrees where it's just not turning off entirely, so I don't know what that means, but I would say that that sensor is probably suspect. So that way I'm able to use the power from the scooter to power the hall sensors. I don't have to set up a breadboard, I don't have to take apart the motor, I can just measure across those three now that I know what goes on inside there, sort of.